Um, well, it must be incredibly tough to take that course to the lead of the Emirates. Um, a fantastic start. What's kind of your overall first overall emotion after that? Yeah, of course, bitterly disappointed at this moment, uh, as are the players, um, as I'm sure are the supporters, um, to put in that much work and effort and to push the team that are five points clear at the top of the league at their stadium that close um, was a huge, huge effort from everybody. Um, so, yeah, most teams that come here get dispatched fairly easily. Um, and we didn't. We put up a real good fight um, and gutted for the players and everyone connected with the club that we suffer a, a late blow. And of course, I took the lead off nine seconds. Did that change the mentality at all? Because, of course, obviously, we want people to come here and take such a lead, that kind of forces more back fit than you were expecting. Was that very much the game plan remained the same despite taking away? No, yeah, game plan was the same. Um, Arsenal are the best team in the league. They're, they're five points clear. Um, so yeah, we were. We knew we needed to be solid. We knew they'd dominate the ball. We knew we'd need to defend. Um, so yeah, obviously the, the kickoff routine that we worked, you don't expect to score from, but thought we could catch them with. But we did. Um, probably puts Arsenal on the front foot a little bit more. But uh, yeah, to be two 0 up at the Emirates and to create some opportunities on the counter and defend our goal the way we did took a, a big big effort from everyone. Um, you lost an hour obviously before you conceded conceded from another set piece I know it's been quite a while since you last conceded but it is 15 now you conceded twice today is that quite frustrating that it's another set piece goal that you conceded? Yeah I, I think Arsenal ask you a lot of questions they were, they were around our box a lot so we're going to have to defend more set plays defend crosses defend sort of underlaps defend shots from the edge of the box um, like I say yeah I, I don't think many people would have expected us to come here and trouble Arsenal um, and we did we came up a little bit short yeah, You talk quite a bit about um, the five in the top line but it seemed like Arsenal had six was that something mm -hmm. cracked four or was that kind of we, it was very quick they went to Chappas and Zinchenko out left out wide to make it six up top was that something you anticipated Yeah we, we were prepped for, for every situation they used yeah so um just because you're prepped for it doesn't mean you stop it. I think, um, yeah, they're, they're five points clear at the top of the league for a reason. So, um, like I say, to to make it the game it was, took a lot of effort. So, um, yeah, proud of what they produced. But obviously at this moment, hard not to feel anything but but gutted from the from the result. Uh, what is the morale like? Really yeah, that lads are very down, of course. Um, been there, know what it feels like. Um, put in so much work and come up whatever it was five seconds short maybe um, is, is a big blow but they'll, they'll be fine similar to me obviously devastated right now um, but yeah hours and maybe a day you, you get back to work um, Liverpool are coming next week and we'll be ready to go again and just finally for me uh, how much are Justin Lerman they dropped out both of them felt some tightness sort of after the uh, Man City game sort of into a couple of training sessions didn't feel quite right so um, yeah, they, they were both unavailable so made, made the task a little bit tougher of course we're, we're missing a few we, yeah we, we need to we need to sort that situation really we need to get as many players back as we can it's tough enough as it is without without having key players missing Frustrated to lose the way you did, but can you take a lot of positives away from the game? Like you said, create a lot of chances, hold up play from Dominic Slade, uh, particularly was rather impressive against Gabriel Slade, but it's been sort of very impressive in the league together. Yeah, I think it. They're, they'll be loads of positives. I think um, they're, they're an excellent side, but a fantastic football side. So coming here, I mean, it could have gone any way really. You see Everton come in the week and they, they hold out for a little while, but then Arsenal were creating chances every few seconds and cutting teams open and that, that, that's how good they are so to come to cause them a few problems to defend as well as we did was a, was a big effort like I say there, there will be positives just obviously at this moment the, well the positives won't mean anything eventually because you, you take no points but um, if we can just continue we've had a tough little run of fixtures that we, we're going through um, and we've had a real good go at them um, so we need, we need to keep that going was it just as shocked as everyone else to see how quick that first goal went? I believe it was nine seconds. Is that something you uh, prepared on the train thing? Yeah, the kickoff was prepared. Um, yeah, just something I thought of. Yeah, sort of day before yesterday, maybe. But yeah, you don't expect to score from it. Just thought maybe you could catch them cold, get up the pitch quickly. Um, 
so yeah, obviously gave us a lovely start and then a, a nice routine for the for the corner goal. Um, real real big chance. Aaron Ramsdale makes an incredible save on the on the counter attack. Um, but of course they they, they arrive in our final third an awful lot. Um, the lads put in an awful lot of work. Um, and you, you suffer to an incredible strike from the edge of the box um, with with maybe two or three kicks of the game left. Okay. Yeah, and obviously the sort of excitement <coughs> over to the Arsenal bench and in the stadium and in the crowd. It seems to be a little bit of an argument between someone from your bench with, with the Arsenal at the end. I mean, was it? do you understand why they couldn't contain themselves and were on the pitch with the side celebrating? Ah, I have no comment to make on on what Arsenal did. I wasn't even concentrating. I was straight on to make sure my lads were, were okay, get them up, get them ready to go again. Shook, shook hands with Mikel. But yeah, it was a game that he needed to win, a game that I needed to try and get something from. And we, yeah, we went to battle and he came out on top. By, and then we shake hands and we move on. Yeah, I mean, it's not, not for me to comment on. Um, they, they score a goal, they celebrate how they want. Just quickly on the kickoff routine, Gary. Um, are you taking a credit for that yourself or was it someone there? I don't, I don't want any credit and the team scored a goal from it so there's about 35 of us involved in it so um, yeah the, the club Gareth do you have any complaints about the, the time of that winning goal because there were only six added minutes and it came I think at the end of the seventh minute yeah I, I, I don't know I haven't seen the exact time of it um, yeah I haven't looked at it enough obviously uh, Adam Smith was down injured for a little bit of the, the six minutes so yeah I don't, I don't know exactly where it fell um, obviously disappointed but yeah well I mean we need, we need to carry out the next action always until the ref says the game's over. So um, we came up one action short. And just quickly on um, the substitution of Zamora for Fredericks, uh, maybe the second half, was that because of an injury or was that just a problem? Yeah, no, I just thought he was starting to struggle a little bit. So, um, and I was yeah. surprised to see uh, Semenya went from the off. I was actually expecting to see uh, Anthony actually try a little bit. Like, was there any reason Semenya started? Yeah, just a counter-attack for it. Mm. Just real pace. Um, knew that we would we would need to counter from deep today. So um, felt that we would get our best situations from having real pace up there. And we did, we just didn't, didn't quite convert them. But was there a moment when you just looked around your bench and your staff and you thought, we've got this, we're going to win this match? No. Not at all. No, Arsenal were going to come back. I mean, they were going to throw everything at it. Um, you, you, while it's 2-0, you feel like, yeah, okay, if we can hold them at bay. Um, from the very first minute of the game, you expect Arsenal to dominate, cause you problems, create chances. That's, that's, that's what happened. So, um, yeah, no, at no moment did I feel like, yeah, we're, we're going to win this today. I just felt like, come on, boys, next action. Let's go. Need to see out another one to come in again. Um, so, yeah, uh, I mean, when you'd seen out six of six minutes and you had one last corner to defend, you you hope you leave with a point, but, but we don't. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They'll, they'll be very, very close. They're, um, yeah, we've played the best two teams in the last two weeks. So, um, yeah, it'll be one of those, I'm sure. Just one for me. Uh, mm. You mentioned the cut of Mitchell, so you spoke about it yesterday. The counter-attacks and that kind of stuff today. What's your assessment of those? Uh, yeah, I'd have to look back. I think um, I can only remember a few. They were probably less than normal because of Arsenal's dominance. Um, yeah, Dango should probably score. It's an incredible save from, from Aaron Ramsdale, of course, but should probably end up in the goal. It's probably the best chance in the game. Um, yeah, there'll probably some other ones, maybe one where Dom doesn't quite get it across to him. Um, yeah, I think we, we could have been better. We could have been better. Um, but it is a tough ask away at the Emirates. Like I say, if you you look at their record, they're, um, they're very, very impressive. And we gave it our best and came up a few seconds short. Anything from Mondays? Anybody? No? Nope. Okay, thanks, thanks guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, good job. Yes, that is what I thought.